In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find some of the most profitable products you can sell on Amazon today. We're going to be using a tool called AMZ Scout. I'm going to review that tool with you, show you how easy it is to use, and we're going to actually do a case study over the next couple weeks to see how the tool performs. But first, let's check out and see how AMZ Scout works. Let's jump on over to the laptop now. So I have logged into the AMZ Scout account. So this is kind of what it look like when you get to the home screen. Uh, so what we'll do is go to your AMZ account. And this is kind of what you're going to be faced with when you get to your actual product database. Okay. So let me show you. Hang on a sec. Take this mode out of the background. All right, perfect. So here's what you're going to have when you get it. So let's just say we want to find a product based on keyword research. So let's do a keyword, all right? So let's click on keyword here. And now, so now what you want to do, let's go ahead and type in a keyword. So we're going to skip this tutorial here, of course, and let's just tie in gardening, right? So we'll be gardening. We're going to hit enter. And now as you can see Amazon search keywords, we're looking for keywords that revolve around gardening that are getting a lot of volume and a lot of people looking for them, right? So as you can see, Gardening hand tools, gardening tools, garden pots, and then it goes, it's going to rank them by the amount of search volume for each one. So we can see gardening hand tools is actually going to be number one so far. Now the list is still loading, but so far it'll be guard, uh, gardening hand tools. So what? All this, this list is going to load. Now we can wait for the monthly search, I mean the keyword sales to load, as you can see it right here. Now, Gardening Tools has 28,000 a month in the search volume, but it's 449 keyword sales. So the sales versus the volume is high here. So, okay, this might be a good one to look at. Now, I could look here and I could say 15,000 on 65. So I'm just kind of looking at the ratio. So there's a lot of sales versus the volume. So let's, let's click on Gardening Tools, take one step further. Okay. So as we let this tool load, all right guys, so as you can see here, we have category, rank, subcategory, estimated revenue, price, everything, right? So it's gonna give us an idea of what we could expect from each one of these tools. So we put in garden tools here, let's just look and see what it actually brought back. So this is a gardening log book. Sell bring 214, estimated sales 71, revenue. So we're just kind of going and looking at you know, what's really got some revenue bring, brought in. So here we go, Abco Tech Gardening Garden Scoop. Okay, so rank 7,193, and obviously the rank, not, the lower the number on the rank, the more demand there is for the product. Um, and then you're looking at the revenue, so we know that people are buying the product. You can see the sale, the amount of sales in terms of how many people bought. Uh, and then you can see the reviews that are being brought in. So there's a lot of tra traction on this. However, it's not a crazy, crazy low rank, meaning it's not like 150 rank to where it, it may or may not move very, very quickly. Not saying it won't move at all. But that is the one issue you could possibly run into with that. So let's see here. Let's go down a little bit further and see if we can find. Now you see this one has a lower rank, okay? Um, but the revenue, estimated revenue is a little bit is lower. So we're kind of looking for lower rank, high revenue, right? So let's go scroll through. Here we go. So we got 3,903, okay, 
That's a low rank, but we see the revenue is 542,807. Seven and 18, the price 54 bucks, fees 2318, your net $30.12. 30, 30, and then you have you can see the reviews and the rating. Now, if I continue to go over here, I can see weight, rating, uh, and then RPR. Okay, so this is the ratio, like I said, ratio of how much revenue a seller makes per review. So for each review, you make about $136 on this one. So not bad, okay? Now, if I want to go and filter this, I can filter my trending products, okay? And then we find products. And it's gonna start pulling this trending products list up for us. So you can see we've got some trending products here. Okay, so we've got the Work Pro Garden Tool. We've got the Garden Tool Set. Let's look down. This is the Garden Tool. This is how toys for kids in the gardening space. Um, Again, same thing, We're looking for low rate, high estimated revenue. This is not bad, okay? We can see the price is here, see the fees, fees are here in the net, okay? Now, this is how you find or um, create a list of products that possibly can place on your store. Now, again, if you're in your store, if you operate your store alone, you do not, do not have to have 100 products in your store, right? You may only have five or six products. If they're all profitable, you can make a ton of money on a small amount of products, right? Now, over time, you can build up uh, an inventory of products that you offer, but you do not have to have hundreds and hundreds of products. So we can look up a keyword tracker, reverse ASIN. So we can look at the ASIN number and look, look up products based on that and around that ASIN number. We can go <clears throat> pull trends and products ideas. Now I'm gonna cut to this in a moment and give you explain how this can be broken down for you. Okay, there's a learning tab. This kind of shows you how you can launch a brand with a, this one says a three thousand dollar budget. Um, so a little course that you can take. Uh, how you can start selling on drop shipping arbitrage. You know, so they're gonna show you how to get vendors, how to drop ship. Um, not directly through Amazon, but how to do uh, drop shipping and arbitrage the correct way following Amazon's uh, proper regulation. Okay, so now we can also go up to product database. There's an extension that you can tie on as well. Okay, and this extension will allow you to use uh, anytime you go on Amazon Scout or Amazon. That'll actually pull up that extension. Okay, so product database. If you click on it, this is what this is the page that we're on now. So if we go to, let's go to product tracker. I can actually put in a product name, a category, or a brand. So let's just say, ah. Uh, Let's just do logistics. Let's just type in a, a word here. And let's see what it gives us. So for this one, you have to have your, your ASIN or the URL to the product that's on um, Amazon, a URL to the product, and you can find that the category and brand more details about how that person sourced that product. Okay? So you can do all of this by yourself. Now, there's a Extra service called Sellerhook will actually do some, the work for you. So it'll go, there's a team that will go through and pick out products for you. It'll pick, depending on what package you pick, you may get uh, three products and packages. You will have more products than you have with a package where they're going to give you multiple, multiple products that you can list on your store. But they're going to do the product uh, research for you. They'll do the competitor analysis. They'll do all of the uh, trending products and assess what products are going to be not only profitable but in demand. So Seller Hook will provide that. So let me show you guys just a quick preview of Seller Hook. Um, this is, uh, I'll have to probably blur this out, but 
this is a, a quick view of what it looks like. So you get a full PDF of what product that you're actually going to use, and then the breakdown of how much you'll make per product, the price range, and you'll actually get the vendors that you to buy the product at the bottom. So Sellerbook provides that, and you can also, also provide SEO optimized listing for your product, which helps you rank in Amazon for that particular product. So it's a very good service that they provide where they do it for you. However, you can navigate this software yourself. You do not have to get Sellerbook. You can navigate the software for yourself. And you can go and see, instead of trying to guess what you want to put on Amazon, you can use this tool to actually learn how to find the products that are in demand and profitable. And if you're doing F the FBM, FBM model, uh, fulfillment by merchant, you can list these and start making sales quickly, okay? Now remember, you have master classes, you have university on here. To get lost on how to use this, there are learning modules on here. But again, Big database of products to choose from. You can see what's doing well. It's kind of like a cheat code for people who are selling on Amazon. I highly recommend this tool. MD Scout is incredible. The support is great as well. Um, and again, if you guys want to check this out, just click the link in the bio. Um, it is a. It should be um, giving you access to a discounted rate for AMT Scout. If you enjoyed this tool, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll make sure to answer any questions on the product review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna jump back over into- All right guys, so let me know what you thought about the tool in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Again, if you wanna know how you can get access to this tool, you can just click the link in the description below the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, and I'll have a link that I'll actually give you a trial that you can try out AMZ Scout today. Talk to you later.